as you heard there, there is so much at stake in this crisis, the future of Greece, the future of Europe, the future of the euro. I had a chance to speak to Christos Panagopoulos, uh, the Greek ambassador to the United States, and I started with the mood of the Greek people right now. Resilient. Certainly all this is uh, in the people's mind. There are different fractions. They're the weaker parts of the society. They suffer much more, but I would say resilient because we have been through this the last five, six years. We know that we have to find a solution, a solution which is just socially for our people, but it's going to be viable. We cannot come back, and that's a message from the government and the people. We don't like to come back after a few months saying, oh, the Greek crisis again, let's start from back to square one. We have to find a solution. We have all the elements to be successful, and that's what we're hoping for and the whole people of Greece. There's a Thursday deadline for the proposal, a Sunday deadline to, to get a deal done. Some are worried that Greece will ultimately not get there and have to exit the Eurozone, and there's been a lot of crisis planning, if you will, people thinking of the worst-case scenario. Do you think it's going to be as bad as people think it would be? Are they exaggerating the, the potential of a Euro exit? We don't like to take this scenario. Uh, when you have negotiations, when you are determined to reach an agreement, you work uh, full heart to reach an agreement. I know that a lot of uh, officials, but let's say that it's uh, a tactical negotiation. I don't mean that uh, they try to scare us. No, to the contrary. We are partners, friends. Or we have different opinions. But what we are looking for now is a, a compromise, a good solution, which is going to deal with the sustainability of the Greek debt and then to normalize the economy and our society. All this is doable if we join forces. I don't even like to think about exiting. Of course, life is going to continue. We've been there for the last 3,000 years. We are not going to disappear, but nobody wants to uh, add uh, additional difficulties for the people. But let me say also, Phil, it's only a Greek problem right now. It's European. I might say, I might dare say, it's a global issue. We live in a globalized economy. So the cost of an exit of Greece, of the Eurozone, it has a lot of bad things for a lot of people. A lot of people are saying that the Euro um, has already failed, regardless of what happens. Do you believe in your heart that Greece wants to be a part of the Euro and if so, is the euro still a good idea? I believe it's a good idea. Greece belongs in the eurozone and in the heart of euro. As a matter of fact, I cannot imagine a European Union without Greece in the very heart of this adventure. When it comes to the crisis, yes, it's a formidable crisis we have to deal with. But remember, all this experiment, quote unquote, with the European Union, all in all, it's a successful one. We live in peace for more than 70 years. That's why we got the Nobel Prize last year. And this is a big achievement, but also from crisis to crisis, we become stronger. That's my belief. We have to see that. Many experts are blaming the lack of tax collection as one of the key issues that got Greece into this crisis to begin with. With or without a deal, how is that issue going to be addressed? Very good question. There are a few things, not a few, a list of things we should do ourselves without the institutions, without our lenders telling us what we should do. We should do one of these is a tax reform. It's a promise from the last governments. A lot of steps that have been taken. This very government, if you wish, I don't like to get into ideological issues right now. It's not my job. But even ideologically has every reason to catch the big fish. And that's what we are doing right now. We're going to have results very soon. So regardless of the euro crisis, this is a must for us.